Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm out on the road again. We are doing something new though. Decided we are going to go to charity sh shops, aka thrift stores if you're in America, and try and find some Pokemon products. Any store that we go into that doesn't have one, we will be donating a pound to that particular charity because I'll be going to quite a few today. So without further ado, I am going to jump out the car and head off to the first location. Our first destination was Midlands Air Ambulance Charity. Didn't particularly check any clothes at all during the day today. Headed over to where toys and knickknacks are situated. Had a quick look through some books as well nothing in that box some plushies which was my um, best hope really quick look through the DVDs see if there was any Pokemon DVDs unfortunately I was out of luck so over to the desk it was and popped in the first pound Next stop was Doggy Mac, which will feature numerous times in this video. DVDs, a few computer games, but nothing Pokemon related. Had a quick look through the toy section again in here. Bin full of plushies. Or what that was, but unfortunately, nothing Pokemon in there. Quick scour of the toy shelf, some My Little Pony, a few board games, but nothing of note to see in this shop. So, again, to the desk it was, and in goes another pound. Couldn't help myself, but. Uh, Totally unrelated. Saw this uh, Pokemon game in CEX and also a few DVDs, but it wasn't a charity shop. Next stop was Bernardo's, which surprised me how much stuff they actually had in here. More like an actual shop than a charity shop. Been full of plushies, but nothing Pokemon related. Shoddy camera work as always. Big Dory there. This is what I mean by it looking like an actual toy shop as opposed to a charity shop. Very organised. Cancer research. Plushies. There wasn't too much in this store at all, to be honest. A few more plushies, a couple of Beanie Babies, but nothing, nothing Pokemon related. I was really uh, starting to struggle at this point, thinking uh, that we weren't going to succeed at all. Quick scour through DVDs. Nothing there. Simpsons in the corner. So over to the desk we go again. And another pound into the charity box. Our next stop was a shop that I've never been in before. This particular one anyway. The Salvation Army charity shop. It was a huge, huge store. Had quite a lot of furniture in it though, to be honest. Uh, the toy section had quite a few tubs full of uh, plushies, but nothing Pokemon. Again, Ooh, the wrestling ring, it was a bust, so in went another pound. Then headed off. 
to Oxfam and PDSA, but both asked me politely not to film the install, which was fine. None of them had anything Pokemon related. We then headed to a Dougie Mac store in a different location. This one was slightly bigger. Just trying to find the toy section at this point. Nothing Pokemon related there. Plushies, a few Disney characters, Minnie and Mickey, and another mini hiding. Really struggling at this point. Re almost ready to give up. In goes a, another pound. Our second Bernardo's. Outside there were a couple of these buckets full of plushies. Lots of meerkats from uh, Compare the Market. Uh, Minion. Not sure which one. Inside there was a few more plushies. But nothing that was Pokemon related. So scour through the other toy section couldn't find anything at all we then headed to our third plantation around Stoke which was a, another doggy Mac or Douglas McMillan toy section on this uh, stand Thomas Tank Engine up at the top there Actually, just give it a second, walk past this twice before spotting it. It is, can you see it? Our first Pokemon related thing, which was a Psyduck Funko Pop. And a pause there for me. Okay, so next Our final stop was a another Mac Douglas McMillan or Buggy Mac. Head inside, shop. see if they've got anything. This was actually more of a warehouse than a shop itself. Lots of plushies as we walked through the door. Bag full of minions down there. Very Disney orientated. Thumper, Mickey Mouse, Simba, Tigger, Winnie the Pooh. It was actually consisted of two rooms. The other room had these bags full of plushies. Various different things in them. I did have a quick look through them all off camera. Unfortunately, none of them contained anything that was Pokemon related. There was that huge Toy Story uh, dinosaur there. But then, at the bottom end of the first room, if you can spot it, here it comes. There was a Tommy Pikachu. As you can see, it lit up. It actually, the sound actually worked. Okay, so I'm back home now from my hunt around the charity shops for Pokemon products. Well, we have a quick look at what I managed to pick up. I need to announce the winner for last week's giveaway for these cards from the uh, Choose Your Fate stream. All of them have double sleeved, double LV, the Gyarados promo, and the Charizard GX. So we shall run that whilst we have a recap. So the first thing that we managed to get was the Psyduck Funko Pop. It's in pretty mint condition. A little nick on the top of the box, but nothing, nothing crazy. And this last sold went for however much is on screen. It ended up costing me six pounds. 
Congratulations Sabine on your win. If you can drop me a message on Instagram, which is linked in my profile or on Discord, whichever is easiest for you, my friend. And then the other thing that we managed to pick up, I'll put the last sold at the time of recording for this as well, which actually works, the ears and the vo light and the sound. You can see. Very nice. I'll probably end up selling both of these and donating the money to Doggy Matt. If they don't sell, I'll probably end up giving them away in a, another video. Probably a card event to a kid or something. So, thanks for watching guys, and I will catch you in the next one.